What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode. My name is Andrew Noble and you are watching Hot Wheels Dad. <laughs> Today's episode is gonna be all about the 1965 Ford Fairlane. As you can see, we have the oil set up here. It's gonna be the first oil change on the 289 V8 that we have. If you're following the build, we've done quite a few things to this car. We've added a new fuel tank to the back. I have a video on that. And then we've done a few little engine things. We did valve covers, new ignition wires, and this beautiful Ford racing air cleaner. So today we're gonna go ahead and just change the oil on this beast. I got a few things already set up. I got a tank to drain the oil in and then also the tool to remove the filter and then some engine oil and then a brand new filter. I'm gonna go ahead and start the drain on here and I've done a lot of reading on the forums and what they say is you do need to add a zinc formula to the oil on these older engines just to keep the cylinders and everything coated so it doesn't have any metal to metal contact. So I do have to run to AutoZone to pick that up but I'm gonna start the drain, getting the oil to drain into this little tank here. This is a pretty cool tank. It basically just drains right Right into here and you take this straight to an oil recycling center and they take care of that for you so let's get that drain started all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and drain this oil and basically all I got to do is let it drain into this oil canister here like so should be good basically it drains down into these holes and this little area right here is for the oil filter. So I'm gonna angle it at an angle so it drains down and then that will allow for me to also go in and remove that oil filter. These really don't need to be super tight. So I can already hand turn this and I can see that that washer is bad on there which is probably why it's leaking. It's coming off and as soon as it gets loose, I gotta pull my hand out really fast so I don't get any, there we go. There we go, that oil is coming out and it's coming out pretty quick. So I need to get a new washer while I'm at AutoZone and I'm glad I'm letting this drain while I actually go to AutoZone because I wouldn't have gotten one of those while I was there and I definitely need a new washer. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys to that drain there as it drains into this little oil can. All right, let's remove this oil filter here. And I got that loose. I should be able just to hand loosen this. And there's a couple of things I wanna remind you of. This needs to only be hand tight when you put it back on. We'll let that drain for a second out of there, but you wanna make sure that the O-ring from the oil filter is not left up on the engine there. So we'll go ahead and lift this up here in a second and just make sure. And it looks like there's not an O-ring, so it looks like I have to go up inside of there and grab that O-ring off. Yeah, I don't see it on this filter, which means that it's probably stuck up here. And look at, in fact, Yes it is, it's stuck up on there. So that's a good thing right there that we double check that. That's one of the biggest things that I wanna remind you of because if you don't, you'll have a huge mess on your hand and you'll have oil all over your garage floor. So I'm gonna let that drain a little bit more and go get that oil zinc additive and come back to this. So I just got back from AutoZone and I got a couple of things. I got this oil treatment, the zinc additive for the oil. I got new gaskets for this bolt and I actually picked up this sea foam. I did see it as a recommendation on another video. It's for like your fuel fuel injectors and everything. It's just basically a fuel system cleaner that you put in the gas tank and I'm gonna add that after I'm done with everything. Let's get underneath the engine here and see if we have stock dripping. It looks like we pretty much stopped dripping. There's a little drippage there. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that down and then pull this out and I should be able to put that drain plug back in, put the new oil filter on and then we should be good to go to add that oil. Next thing we need to do is we got to put the gasket on that bolt there and get the bolts put back up into the oil pan down here at the bottom. Let's see how we are on the drips again. All right, we got a small little drip, but we should be able to pull this out and wipe that clean there. We should be okay to get this out of there. All right, it's got 
a little drip here, but it looks like we're pretty clear. I wanna make sure I kinda wipe everything down to make sure if there's any leaks that I can definitely tell where they're coming from. So I'm gonna clean all this up from underneath here. There's a few years of grime and stuff down here, so I'm gonna make sure I wipe everything down so I can see if there's any leaks coming from anywhere. We should be good to put this drain plug back in. And again, these don't need to be super tight. Just enough to seal it there because you don't want any oil to be leaking, but you also don't want to strip that bolt that's in there. All right, so let's add this oil additive to this can of oil here. So basically what this treatment is, it's the zinc additive and you put in one bottle for every four to five quarts. And this bottle is a five quart bottle and the car actually takes five quarts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this whole bottle into the oil here. Let that seep in and that should be good to go. All right, next thing we wanna do is replace this oil filter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and lube this gasket up a little bit with some oil, which will allow it to seat and seal properly. I've also seen on the internet, some guys fill up these oil filters with oil because sometimes the engine doesn't hold five quarts of oil. But um, the way that it's set up on the fair lane is it's kind of hard, it's kind of angle different. So if I were to fill that up with oil and tip it to screw on the oil filter, I would end up spilling oil all over the place. So I'm not gonna go ahead and pour in any oil. I'm just gonna go ahead and grease that up. And then if I need to, I'll just start the engine and allow that to fill with oil in just a few seconds and then put the rest in. All right, this guy should just come right up in here. There we go, I got that right angle on there. And now I should just be able to tighten this up. And it doesn't need to be super tight, hand tight is fine. I just wanna make sure that it's not going to leak on you, but also that it's not super tight on there so you can't get it off. All right, there we go, we should be good to go on that. Now it's time just to add some oil into the engine and start her up. All right, this guy should just pop right on off. There we go, this one there. Okay, so I had to do a little calculation here. This bottle is 15 ounces, which equals half a quart. This bottle is a five quart bottle. So one of these whole things should fit in the engine, which means that if I put in half a quart, I should leave half a quart in here and then we should be good to go. I'm left-handed, so this is a little bit difficult. Maybe I should go from this side over here. Of course I spilled some oil there. It's me. Let's check that. One quart left, so I need to pour another half quart in. So now I just need to wipe up what I spilled down in there. Like a big old dork. Looks like I spilled some right in here. I did hear it hit. I heard it hit the cardboard down here, so hopefully it kind of went straight through here. Let's see. I know it. Land it on some of this here. Hit this, hit this. All right, let's pull this guy out of there. And put this guy back on. Right there. Now the last thing we need to do is start this engine and make sure that there's no leaks. So let's go ahead and get her started. Here we go. Start it up pretty good. Let's go check to make sure there's no leaks or anything spewing out. Don't see anything from up here. Let's go check underneath. I don't see any leaks or anything from under here. Looks like we are good to go. All right, I didn't see any leaks or anything down there. Nothing is leaking from up here. Nothing is leaking from around here, so we should be good to go. The last thing we need to do is check the actual oil. So let's check that oil level to see where we're at. Let's wipe that down. Stick it back in here and go. All right, we are right at that full mark, so we're perfect. Yeah, and that oil looks clean, definitely looks cleaner than what the oil looked like before. So we are good to go. And of course, it's me, so I'm going to double check, just because it's me doing this. Look at that, 
right at that full line. Easy work done on this 1965 Ford Fairlane. Last thing we're gonna do is add this little bottle of sea foam into the gas tank here. I'm gonna put half a can in here because it says one ounce for every gallon and this is only a 16 gallon tank and this is a 20 ounce bottle. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put in half the can here. All right, that should be good. All right, you guys, that's it for this episode of Hot Wheels. Dad, I hope you enjoyed the oil change on this 289 Ford Fairlane. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this content and go and check out the rest of this build. I've done quite a bit with this car since I received it. So go ahead and browse the channel and check those out. Check out my social pages, Hot Wheels Dad on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Always remember, you are the maker of your own story. So don't forget to make it legendary. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.